So this question is a diagram question, which simply means we're going to need to use any given information for this diagram, along with anything that we can figure out based upon that given information in order to combine those two things and find a correct answer. So let's see what we're given about this diagram. So we're told in quadrilateral ABCD above, line segment AD is parallel to line segment BC. So I'm going to draw these little symbols here, these little arrowheads that represent that those two lines are parallel. Now, what I like to do after drawing any symbols into a diagram is ask myself, well, what does this mean? What does it mean to me? Right? What else can I figure out based upon what I've just what I've just read? So I can tell that if those two lines are parallel, angle D must also be 90 degrees. I also can tell, based upon some of the rules of parallel lines and transversals, that angle A plus angle B, and I'll just write it down here, angle A plus angle B is supplementary. So those two things must add up to 100 and 80 degrees. And let's see, what else are we told about this diagram? So we're also told that CD is one half of AB. So that means that the length here, and I'll just call it, I'll call that length X, right? So CD is equal to one half of AB. So if CD is X and it's one half of AB, that means AB would have to be 2X. Okay, so now I'm finished labeling. Now, what does that mean? How does that help me with anything? I don't think, right, like knowing the length of CD and AB doesn't necessarily help me to figure out the length of BC or AD. So I'm going to just move on with the question. The remainder of the question says, what is the measure of angle B? Well, we know, right, we can kind of look at angle B and know that it's greater than 90 degrees. So I'm going to just cross out answer choice D. We know that it's bigger than 90 just by looking at it. Outside of that, I don't see any other way, right, to know exactly what angle B is. So from experience, I'm going to show you a little trick that I've learned to use whenever I'm in this scenario. Um, when I have a shape that can be broken down into smaller shapes, basically. So that's what we have here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a vertical line here, thereby converting this into a, you know, this might be a square, but I don't know. So a rectangle, let's call it, and a right triangle there. So what this does is, you know, for sure, I know that this part is 90 degrees, like we said before. So that's 90. So now my attention goes to, can I figure out that angle? And let me just redraw this right triangle again. Can I figure out this top angle and add it to 90 degrees in order to find the answer? So just labeling everything again. This is my 2x. Now this line that I drew down is also going to have a length of x, right? Because it's equal to this line. Those two lines are the exact same length. So here's an x. Okay. Now, this is starting to look pretty familiar to me now that I see it in this way, I have a right angle. Because on the very first page of your math test, you'll see a little section that says special right triangles. It's good to pay attention to that page just to get familiar with what's on there, right? So seeing this X and 2X jogs my memory that, hey, there is a special right triangle on the first page. You can even flip to it right now if you have your test with you, and it looks just like this, it says a 2x here, it has, I'm looking at it, it has an x here, and it has an x root 3 here, and we're given that this is an angle that's 30 degrees, and this is an angle that is 60 degrees. Now, this triangle is exactly like this triangle, right? We have the 2x, we have the x, right? We don't have the x root 3, but it would have to be there, and therefore, this top angle here that we were trying to find, right, this top angle here at b, must be 60 degrees. So now knowing that that is 60 degrees, we just add it to the 90 degrees there, right? So 90 plus 60. And what we get is that that entire angle B is 150 degrees. And therefore the correct answer here is choice A.